second service is a prayer service. This is the service where we come and break before God in prayer and in worshiping and in crying before Jehovah God to show to have mercy on us according to show us mercy according to his abundant mercy. So we are here to worship God. We are here to pray. We are here to worship Jehovah God. Please make haste to reach here like we've said. He will be ministering. Last, last Tuesday he talked about the, the lion of threat and he read the scriptures from the book of Judges 14 from verse 5 to verse 6 which says that when, when Samson was going together with his parents to Timna then on their way when they approached the vineyard of Timna the roaring lion came toward the Samson and then the spirit of the Lord the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord came up powerfully upon Samson and when Samson and Samson was able to tear to tear the lion apart with his hands now today he'll be talking about the catalyst he'll be talking about the catalyst to victory the catalyst to victory because the war we are in is, is a spiritual war remember we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against power against rulers of darkness of this age in the spiritual wickedness so please it is a spiritual war so come and silence that altar that has been speaking against you because last Sunday when he ministered to us actually we received the power to, to assassinate to abort to terminate to destroy to uproot every evil altar and every evil man that is working against us so today we have the opportunity to invite you because the service is already underway please make haste to reach here so that we can worship together with God it works shalom
na kungoja wewe bwana yesu na sema na sema bwana tu maeni la maisha yangu na sema akataya bosi bilibisha tela lori la mabosa ya jina lenye nguvu jina la Yesu Kristo kila mahali watu wako bwana wamengojea ibada hii tumishi wako umeniejalia kufika mahali hapa katika ukumbi huu watomboya memorial hall katika mji wa Mombasa kwenye nje ya Kenya bara la Afrika mashariki katika pwani ya Kenya Majira haya Bwana ninaungana na wapendwa kupitia Shilo TV kupitia Facebook na kupitia hata YouTube wakiwa wametegea ibada ya one on one with God ninaomba e Bwana ukanijalie nikawaongoze watu wako kwa njia ya kuwaingiza katika wingu lako la utukufu Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu utawale kwenye ibada hii asante kwa majira haya jina lako litukuzwe mfalme wa falme kwa Yesu Kristo wateule tunaomba thank you lord jesus nachukua nafasi kuwakaribisha wapendwa wote katika ibada hii ya one on one popote pale mnapotegea Asante sana wengine haikosi muko kazini wengine muko kwa safari wengine mmetulia mahali mlikuwa mnangojea ibada hii kwani ulipata matangazo kupitia Runinga kupitia hii Shilo TV kwa Facebook na kwa YouTube na ukawa unangojea masaa na ndio haya karibu sana kila moja mahala ulipo uwepo wa Mungu uko mwingi sana kiwango kisicho cha kawaida kwa ajili ya kumpa mtu mpachiko wa vichocheo vya kumfanya shinde maisha ni mwake kwa utukufu wa jina la Bwana. Unastahili kuabudiwa May 
you stand up. Fanya ibada hii. Mumo, just come here. You know, there are people. Lift up your hands. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You are ready? God is here and he can do anything. Simama hapa mse. Simama wangalia uku. Muna mjua uyo? Do you know him? Okay. Fungua macho enu mumu wangalie. Ataka tu kuwaonesha. Wewe nyosha mikono yako fanya hivi. Haya, se waambie. Power! inawekwa ndani ya mtu na kazi inaanza Fungua macho uangalie kwa madhabao Fungua macho uangalie madhabao mambo na wanatarajie Mungu Mungu atawatembelea watu wake
chache hizi ninapo kuongoza kwenye ibada hii ya kuomba hii ni ibada ya one on one with god na ukikubali kwa ghafla tu roho anashuka kwako na anakubadilisha unakuwa mtu mwingine ukikubali unaondoka ukiwa mtu tofauti ukikubali utafanya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida na leo kuna kitu Mungu anataka kufanya kwa maisha yako cha kukushangaza Waamuzi wacha yaamuliwe mlango wa 14 
Waamuzi 14 niko na dakika chache tu Waamuzi 14 tulisoma hapa wiki iliyopita katika ibada ya one on one na ninarudi hapo alafu tunachomoka kwa sababu kuna kitu kimebaki ambacho ni lazima nikuelezee maana bwana ameagiza hivyo usiachukulie mambo kawaida hiyo imenifunza hivyo leo kulingana na maandiko haya vile ninarudia hapo mimi nalikuwa niendelee lakini katika hiyo kuendelea nimerudishwa hapo ili nichukulie kitu hapo ndipo Samsoni mstari wa tano hadi wa sita katika waamuzi 14 ndipo Samsoni na baba yake na mama yake wakatelemkia Timna wakafika mashamba ya misabibu huko Timna na tazama mwana mwana Simba akamungurumia naomba utulie kidogo uweze kuinua uso wako uangalie huku kwa madhabahu na uongee na nguvu sitaki kusumbuliwa tena sema sitaki makelele sitaki kupigiwa kelele sitaki kufuatwa fuatwa ongea na nguvu sema wewe pepo achana na maisha yangu wewe shetani achana na maisha yangu sema roho ya mizimu achana na nyumba yangu kwa jina la Yesu sasa kile kinafuata hapa mstari wa sita watu wakae tayari roho ya bwana ikamjilia kwa nguvu naye akampasua kana kwamba anampasua mwanambuzi hey. wala hakuwa na kitu chochote mkononi mwake lakini hakuambia baba yake na mama yake aliyoyafanya mtu aseme kuisha mambo kuisha mambo mambo gani yameisha leo nitakufahamisha kufuatwa fuatwa kupigiwa pigiwa makelele na maroho za kushindwa na maroho za kukuama leo hiyo mambo inakwisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimetumwa niongee na wewe kitu kinaitwa vichocheo kwa ushindi wako hii na maana wapendwa kwa muda wa dakika chache kuna roho anashuka asiye wa kawaida anaitwa roho wa Bwana roho wa kukufanya ushinde roho wa kukuinua roho wa kukuweka kwa nafasi unayopaswa kuwa roho wa kukufanya watu wa kuangalie na washangae maisha yako roho wa kukufanya wewe uinuke ufanye yale ambayo sio ya kawaida yasiyofanywa na mtu wa kawaida utayafanya ya kabosha yasiyofanywa na mtu wa kawaida utayafanya yasiyofanywa na mtu wa kawaida utafanya kichocheo ambacho ninaongelea leo ni roho wa Bwana atashuka juu yako watu wainue sauti zao waseme roho juu now niko na dakika chache mimi niko na dakika chache kama we ni wakuyeyuka katika uwepo wa Bwana kama we si mgumu kitu kinaanza kukutendekea lakini kama ni mtu wa kumaliza masaa samahani hatuna muda mrefu afadhali uanze kufungua roho yako kitu kianza kukutendekea kuna mambo yanapita mbio mbio usikupenda kuongea haraka haraka ni vile napelekwa na mbingu na speed sio ya kawaida inapita haraka haraka e ya kwamba kuanzia siku ya leo hakuna kitu kinakwenda kukushinda katika maisha yako iko roho ya kukuwezesha we kushinda iko roho ya kukufanya utashinda iko roho ya kukupa nguvu isiyo ya kawaida e kilicho kuinukia kiko na nguvu na ndio maana roho inakuja pia kwa nguvu 
kulingana na size ya roho inashoka kwako ati nikwambie inatosha kupelekana na kila ambacho kinainuka kinyume chako roho alishuka kwake kwa nguvu kwa maana alikuwa ni mpaka pambane na simba mwenye nguvu ninatangaza katika maisha yako hivi vitu vimeinuliwa kinyume chako raundi ya vita toboa raundi ya vita weza raundi ya vita weza kuna kichocheo cha ushindi inaitwa roho ya bwana e roho ya bwana itakuja juu yako roho ya bwana itakuja juu yako roho ya bwana itakuja juu yako e kuna watu ninaongea na wao e roho ya bwana itakuja juu yako utashinda vita leo utashinda vita leo utashinda makombora yao utashinda makombora yao sitaki kujua wamejipangaje lakini hata wakaletana hawatatoboa 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 kuna roho inatoka kwa bwana kuna roho inatoka kwa bwana kuna roho inatoka kwa bwana ni nani anasema haleluya ni nani anasema haleluya nani atasema 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 haleluya sikiliza taarifa hii kuna kitu nimeshuhudiwa kutoka kwa anga ya Bwana ya kwamba wewe haujaitwa kushindwa e, kuna mipango ya Bwana kuhusu maisha yako e, Samson alizaliwa na roho ndani yake ati aweze kuokoa waisraeli e, kutoka na mikono ya wafilisti haikuwa imetaja mambo ya simba ilitaja toni wa filisti ambao walikuwa atapambana na wao lakini akiwa katika njia akielekea kwa njia wa filisti kukatokea simba roho nyingine ikakuja ambayo inajua kupambana na wanyama kama hao hata wewe kuna kitu nataka kukuambia ya kwamba umeundwa kupambana na vita hata vikajibadilisha vikakuja na design nyingine kuna roho ya kukuwezesha wewe kupambana na madude kama hayo na siku ya leo nakutangazia kuna roho itashuka kwako utafanya mambo hata wewe utashtuka mwenyewe utafanya mambo hata wewe utashangaa utafanya mambo utawaacha watu wakishangaa hiyo vita walifikiria vita kumaliza e, kuna roho inakuja kwa nguvu e, Mungu hatakubali uondolewe e, Mungu hatakubali wakumalize iko roho itakuja kwa nguvu jamani natangaza kuna kichocheo leo e, kuna roho itakusaidia e, kuna roho itakusaidia utashinda vita utashinda vita utashinda vita vya maneno yao utashinda vita utashinda vita vya jama zao utashinda vita e, kuna roho inakuja kwako utashinda vita e, kuna kitu nasikia kinanichochea ya kwamba masaa yamefika hakuna vita utapoteza e, vita vyote utashinda e, wa filisti utawashinda hata simba utawashinda yani wewe ni mtu wa kushinda e, kuna roho itakucha kwako kwa nguvu e, na kuanzia usiku wa leo unabadilika wewe e, sivyo ulivyokuwa utakuwa mtu tofauti e, mtu aliye na nguvu e, mtu aliye na roho e, kama naongea na wewe e, shout jesus inua uso wako juu inua uso wako juu kesi hii yataka roho ya Bwana ishuke kwako kwa nguvu hii kesi hii hii situation hii yataka roho wa Mungu ashuke kwako kwa nguvu oh labosha lalaba anza kutamani oh, anza kutamani anza kutamani angemrarua vipi simba hiyo ilionekana kama sio line yake yeye alijua ku deal na wafilisti lakini bwana akamuonesha ya kwamba everything that comes against you kuna roho kutoka kwangu itakusaidia 
na ndio leo ninakuambia wewe ni mtu wa kushinda unahitaji roho ya Bwana unahitaji roho wa Mungu nishakuonesha kile unahitaji ili ushinde vita vyako nishakuonesha kile unahitaji ungeanza kuitisha nishakuonesha kile unahitaji you need the spirit of god you need the spirit of god ushalaba shakaboya zababa you need the spirit of god unataka nikuitishie ama unataka kuita You need the spirit of God. Lobo sheke bileba. Unangojia kuitishiwa wewe. Ama utaanza kuitisha. Ibada inaitua one on one. With God. One on one with God. Roho ya Bwana. Ah. Ikanikujie kwa nguvu. Watu werefu kuna mahali wameingia. Unaona huyu? Hiyo kutetemeka ni ya nini? Ni current iko juu sana. Ya boshalaba. Eh hey, wewe enda tu. Ya kaboshanta. Shelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
kwa hiyo level umefika nikikuachia hapa uko sawa are you sure oh you can do and you can go deeper than that you can raise your voice beyond that you can open your heart more than that haiwezekani kuua simba kwa mikono bila silaha ukawa uko katika level ya watu wa kawaida hii ni levo isiyo ya kawaida toka katikati ya watu leo toka kwa viwango vyao toka 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 katikati ya watu leo toka kwa viwango vyao toka 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 twende 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 haya maneno yasiwe kama lugha yako ya kawaida lakini yaka sound kwako kama steps zako za kuinuka toka twende toka twende toka twende twende kwa anga inuka kwa anga sasa ndio 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 desire the spirit of the lord desire loko shaka anza kuangukiwa na roho ya bwana roho ya bwana ikakuchilie leo oh my father ukeuzwe ukeuzwe kuwa mtu mwingine mtu wa kufanya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida e, kuna makelele mengi sana umesikia umesikia wao maroho yamekuinukia sana oh, leo 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 utakuwa na ushindi juu yao utakuwa na ushindi juu yao utakuwa na ushindi juu yao you just need the spirit of the lord unahitaji tu roho ya bwana unahitaji roho ya bwana roho ya bwana nishukie 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 kwa nguvu Roho ya Bwana nishukie kwa nguvu Oh my father my father my father hey mama utakuwa mtu asiye wa kawaida hey baba utabadilika leo kijana utabadilika leo unabadilika unaanza kuongezeka unaanza kuongezeka unaanza kuongezeka unaanza kuwa tishio unaanza kuwa tishio unaanza kuwa kiauzwa unaanza kukeuzwa kuna mtu anageuzwa kuna mtu anageuzwa hapa kuna mtu anageuzwa hapa kuna mtu anageuzwa Samson unageuzwa Samson unageuzwa walikuwa wanakushinda lakini kuanzia leo hawatawezana na wewe hawataweza kukushinda walikuwa wanakuangaisha lakini kuanzia leo hawatakuangaisha tena kuna roho ya Bwana inashuka juu yako kuna roho ya Bwana inashuka juu yako roho ya Bwana ina shuka juu yako yako kata kata kamba zao yako kata kata nyororo zao yako kata kata vifungo vyao e, kuna roho ya bwana ina shuka juu yako e, siku ya kupokea roho ya kushinda utapata ushindi utapata ushindi utapata ushindi utapata ushindi e, kuna watu wako hapa e, kuna kichocheo e, na mimi nakuchochea e, 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 chochea roho ya bwana ikashuka juu yako roho ya bwana ikashuka juu yako jamani pokea jamani pokea roho ya kushinda vita jamani pokea roho ya kushinda vita vita vya mizimo jamani pokea roho ya kushinda vita jamani kupokea jamani nikupokea jamani nikupokea pokea roho pokea roho wamekusumbua vya kutosha lakini kuanzia leo pokea roho Epokea roho ya kushinda vita ya kushinda vita hao waliokuinukia lazima utawashinda 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 jamani pokea jamani pokea e watu wanaomba e jamani pokea iko neema iko neema iko neema e kichocheo e kichocheo e kichocheo e kwa ushindi wako e roho ishuke kwako e samsori anza kazi
You need the spirit of the Lord. Ita 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 roho ya bwana ikushukie kwa nguvu na uanze kazi ita roho ya bwana ikujilie kwa nguvu na uanze kazi everybody let's go
chache uanze kutamani sana kutembea katika wepo wa Bwana maana hiyo hiyo ndio catalyst moja wapo kubwa sana kwa ajili ya ushindi wa maisha yako yani leo ni roho ya Bwana ikushukie kwa nguvu maana hiyo ndio kichocheo kwa ushindi wako Samsoni hangetoboa ndio kama hangekujiliwa na roho wa Bwana kwa nguvu sasa wewe zama katika uwepo wake wacha uwepo wa Bwana ukufunike ongea kama Musa mwambie nahitaji uwepo wako ufunikwe ufunikwe leo just enter into the presence of God into the glory Mwambie akupe nafasi ya kuingia katika uwepo wake. Kwa yeye kukubali kuachilia roho wake kwako. That is the catalyst to your victory. When you have the presence of God, when you have the spirit of God, when you have the glory of God upon your life, that is the assured catalyst to your victory. Therefore today you just need the spirit of the living god tena shuke kwako kwa nguvu hii mambo unapambana nayo haitajikua muda you just need the spirit of god upon you hii mambo unasumbuana nayo haitakaa ya la 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 ba kila mmoja tamani uwepo wa Bwana kuliko kitu kingine sadi the presence of god the spirit of god the spirit of the lord the spirit of the lord ni kama unamwambia Bwana na kuitaji 
na kutamani natamani uwepo wako fill me fill my life with your presence do it right now you have some few minutes ni kama unamwambia bwana njoo nataka nikae na wewe nataka nitembee na wewe nataka niende na wewe vile Mungu alimwambia Ibrahimu walk before me wewe tokezea mbele zake mwambie niruhusu nitokezee mbele zako this is the catalyst to your victory uwezo kashindwa ukiwa na Mungu ni kama unamwambia Mungu I need you Lord Hey shalala baba baba I need you Lord Feel my life baba baba with your presence Presence Lord What are you asking God to give you? Unauliza upewe nini leo? The catalyst to your victory. Kichocheo kwa ushindi wako. Kichocheo ayayayaya kwa ushindi wako. Unamwambia I need you fast. Lord I need you fast. Feel my life. Feel my life. Ingia katika huo uwepo. Lewa huo uwepo. Ingia kabisa. Go. Huko mtu anatokanga huko na vitu vyote hata zile hukuomba Maana uwepo wa Mungu huwa umekusanya baraka zote Ehe. That is the secret Go Musa aliona wingu Limeshuka kwa mlima wa Sinai Mungu akamuita Musa akapanda akaingia ndani ya wingu akapotelea huko Si wewe upotelee huko na wewe Umefahamu mambo haya Ingia Ndio Ndio Ingia upotele kwa uo uwepo Yee Ingia The catalyst to your victory Kichocheo kwa ushindi wako Kichocheo kwa ushindi The spirit of the Lord the presence of the Lord. Utatoka huko na nga utukufu juu ya maisha yako. Watakuangalia hawataona Musa wa kawaida. Hawataona mama wa kawaida. Hawataona baba wa kawaida. Dio!
to your victory, the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit. 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 He's so sweet. The 
Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God. Roho ya Bwana ilimujilia kwa nguvu. Kwa sababu moyo ulikuwa tayari. Spirit. He is moving now. He roi in a shuka kwa Samson. Yonjia ilikuwa na watu lakini Samson tu ndiyo roho ilishuka kwa ke. nyumba ina watu wengi lakini roho ina ya Mungu inashuka tu kwako Utaanza kutembea kwa anga vile hujawahi Utafundishwa kwenda kwa anga ndio na nguvu nyingi Kusumbuliwa inaondolewa sana kabisa hiyo nguvu hawawezani nayo roho mtakatifu anashuka kwa nguvu may you receive the spirit of the lord may the lord fill you with the spirit of victory Mungu akuamini na roho yake Eh Mungu akuamini na roho yake ukipata hiyo ukipata hiyo ukipata hiyo wewe uko juu sana Mungu akuamini na roho yake ukipata hiyo milango yote imefunguka Ukipata hiyo hakuna wa kukuzuia Mungu akuamini na roho yake Mungu akuamini na roho yake Ukipata hiyo Ukipata hiyo hutasumbuka tena Mungu akuamini na roho yake Oh la 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 bushekebe Ndio 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 Thank you, Jesus. Tazamaji. Ni majira mazuri ambayo Mungu ametupatia. Nimeongea na wewe kuhusu the catalyst to your victory. Yaani kichocheo kwa ushindi wako. Na kichocheo cha siku ya leo ni roho ya Bwana kukujilia kwa nguvu Mungu wa Israeli akutende mema upate nguvu usibaki mtu wa kawaida na kutakia kila laheri unapoendelea kutamani 
roho ya Bwana ije kwako kwa nguvu hii roho ni hakikisho la ushindi maishani mwako na kuombea neema ya Mungu na kuombea nguvu za Mungu na kuombea ulinzi wa Bwana njia yako utaenda attack zote zilizopangwa hazita kumaliza wewe mikono yako iwe na nguvu nyingi kwa ajili ya kukabiliana na uvamizi wowote uliowekwa ni mashetani leo vikosi vyote vya mapepo vikaibike wote waliochificha wakaanikwe wakachochewe wakaropokwe kilichochificha ndani yao ijulikane wewe Mungu anakupigania kila siri kinyume chako ikaanikwe wasifumilie na wasibane wasiifiche roho wa Mungu awe kwako kwa wingi awatingishe wachikute wameropokwa na kila wakiropokwa ni nyungu yao imepasuka maisha yako yasibaki ya kawaida neema ya Mungu iwe na wewe nyungu ya uchawi nyungu ya limitations nyungu ya aibu nyungu ya kukwama ipasuke kwa jina la Yesu Kristo hutapigiwa kelele wewe na maroho ya majini na maroho ya wasiokutakia mema wanyamazishwe kabisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo madhabahu ya Mungu ya kutetea nguvu za Mungu zimgonge adui mahali hata wai kuinuka tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo you are anointed to win this and forever you shall remain a winner baba na kushukuru kwa huyu mtazamaji na mficha kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo kichocheo hiki kwa ushindi wake cha kupokea roho ya Bwana imujilie kwa nguvu wacha iwe hivyo huyu ashinde majira haya katika kipindi chake cha maisha wepo wako katande kote kote Sante mtakatifu kwa maana unaweza. Umbariki mtazamaji huyu na umsaidie kuendelea kutamani kukaa katika uwepo wako. Maana nimeomba haya kupitia jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu. Amen. Na Yesu. Na kuongoza tu katika ibada hii ya kumtolea Mungu dhabihu. Unaweza ukakubali tumwabudu Mungu pamoja na wewe. Bwana kutende mema uweze ukatoa dhabihu yako kupitia nambari hizi ambazo tumekuwekea. Uweze ukasupport kituo hiki cha Shilo TV kwa kutoa matolewa yako. Mungu akutende mema. Ninakutakia kichocheo hiki kikafanye makubwa. Utupigie simu tuandikie ujumbe utushuhudie vile unavyosikia hata baada ya ibada hii I love you and I wish you well bado nitaendelea every tuesday saa moja na nusu jioni ni ibada ya one on one tunakutana katika ukumbi huu wa Tomboya Memorial Hall ninakukaribisha nitakuwa ninaendelea kuongea 
vichocheo vyote mpaka mtakapowezeshwa na Bwana kukamilisha mahali unapaswa kufahamu. Kwa hivyo Tuesday hii ambayo inakuja come on site. Tuendelee kusikia kichocheo kingine kwa ajili ya ushindi wako. Roho ya Mungu juu yako na maisha ni mwako ana play part kubwa sana you need the holy spirit kichocheo kwa ushindi wako next nitakuelezea ni nini tukutane wakati huo kini kwa sasa endelea kubarikiwa na vipindi vyetu ambavyo tumekuandalia uwe na wakati mzuri na ukumbuke kwamba wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi katika jina la Yesu. Kwaheri naitwa Wafula mimi. Shalom shalom shalom. We have come to the end of today's service and we thank you so much for taking your time to listen to Pastor Bishop Robert Elia Wafula. He's the one who's been ministering. And today he read the scriptures from the book of Judges chapter 14 from verses 5 and 6 where the Bible says that Samson together with his parents went to Timna and on their way as they approached the vineyard of Timna, they came, the, the roaring lion came towards Samson as he wanted to jump on Samson. Then the Bible says that the scriptures, the, 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 the spirit of the Lord powerfully came upon Samson and Samson was able to tore the lion apart with his bare hands. Now Oh, they, he was talking about the catalyst to, to our victory and he focused on the spirit of the Lord. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon you, you will do extraordinary things in your life. That altar that has been speaking against you, that evil man and that evil woman that has been speaking against you, you receive the spirit of God and you'll be able to silence every mouth and to silence every altar that has been working against you. So that is the main topic that he talked about today and I believe that as you've watched the, the screen and you are blessed together and you receive the spirit of God. We thank you so much for watching Shiloh TV. Keep watching Shiloh TV, follow our Facebook page Shilo TV, follow our YouTube channel Shilo TV, kindly subscribe, like, share and turn on that notification bell so that you can always receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. We thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we also have the deliverance service and the impartation service from 12.30 to 1.45 p.m. and then the deliverance service in the evening. So please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching Shilo TV. With God it works. Shalom.